You're racking up the road miles this week, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, but, um, obviously going up to Ross County uh, on Sunday. Well, left, left Saturday, stayed Saturday night. Um, then back down Sunday, only got back in at half eight here. And then obviously travelling up today. So here yeah, we are racking them up. What do you do tomorrow then? What's the preparation tomorrow when you're way up in, in Aberdeen or north of Aberdeen? Um, well, we'll just get up and we'll get breakfast. Um, we might even go for a walk during the day. Then I think just chill in the rooms, um, get a sleep in the, in the afternoon if you can. I'm not really a big fan of that, but I know a lot of the boys are. Um, then obviously just get get the pre-match uh, meal in and then travel at the stadium. What what are you expecting at Fraserburgh? Because I mean Ross County is obviously quite it's quite a tight park. Fraserburgh is really tight and it's it's got a slope. Right. It's going to be. A, do you think it's going to be quite a, a physical kind of battle this game? Um, well. Obviously, when I was at Rafe, uh, Rangers came to came to, um, to Starks Park, and um, you know, in the atmosphere in the chain room, it, it's it's crazy. They won't get nothing like it that season. They will all be up for it, be like a cup final to them. So they will make it as hard as possible for us. And and I don't know how they'll play. I've never seen the pitch or that, so I, I can't really say on that. So, um, but we need to go up there with a great, a good attitude. Try play like we did against um, Aberdeen, especially the first seventy minutes, and especially the first half against Ross County and um, go up there with the right intentions. Does it help for you as a player, you're now playing for one of the biggest teams in the country, but you've played out on loan at a lot of these grounds, you know what they're like, so it's not going to be an unsettling experience for you. <laughs> yeah, well I've played in League 2 and I've played in some horrible, horrible chain rooms, <laughs> tight chain rooms, I mean we've been to Cowden Beef and obviously some of the boys that have been at Rangers for the leagues back up the way will know what it's like, so um, I know what's expected and at these, at these games it's going to be tough. But we need to go there with um, a winning mentality and go and try and win the game. What's the key, what's the key to, to, to getting through this sort of challenge? I think that, I mean, it's a Scottish Cup, so we want we want to do as well as we can in this uh, competition. And the gaffers came in and said that he wants to go as far as he can and, and try and win it. So, I mean, that's a, the, the main uh, goal. So, hopefully we can go up there, um, as I said, play like we did at Aberdeen first 70 and Ross County first half and uh, go and get the game uh, dead, <laughs> tied up early doors. The last sort of David versus Goliath game that Rangers played in was obviously the Progress Nidercon game earlier on this season. Is there anything that you think you can take from that experience going into this one to maybe sort of make sure the same result doesn't happen again? I think that obviously in the, that game we had a lot of chances and we didn't bury them and we got made to pay for it. So if we can get the chances buried early on, like I said, and uh, get the tie wrapped up early doors, it would be brilliant. You've been playing next to Russell Martin the last couple of games, a, a player that's just come in. What, what can you learn from, from an experienced head like him? Um, well, he's came in, he's a, a brilliant professional. Uh, as you can see about the building, you know, he does his, his uh, recovery right, starts everything properly. So you can learn stuff like that off him. I mean, we've got like obviously Bruno in the building, um, had Clint Hill last year, Philippe Senderos. So, you always need to just pick up little bits and bobs off off uh, different players. I mean, I've spoke to him quite a lot since he's came in. Obviously, I've played two games with him now. Um, and I thought that we've done well in the games. Obviously, disappointing not to get the clean sheet against Ross County. Obviously, the penalty incident. But other than that, I thought we've done really well. Do you think the squad's been rejuvenated for the second half of the season with the new signings that have come in? I think the new signings have done very well since they came in. I mean, obviously, Sean Goss, uh, Russell Martin, Jamie Murphy. I've been obviously playing a lot um, and they've been very good. So I can really speak about Russell Martin, obviously playing next to him. He's been very good to me. He speaks to me through the game um, like every other centre half does. Um, so yeah, he's been very good. What's um, the state of play with your contract, David? Because the suggestion that there were clubs looking at maybe trying to get you in this month. I mean, you're out of contract this season? Yeah, in the season, yeah. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm enjoying my football at the moment. Um, these things take care of themselves as long as I'm playing on the football pitch. Um, that's why I've got representatives and they can take take care of off the pitch and um, we can do stuff on it. Presumably you want to get a long-term deal signed pretty soon though? Yeah, well, I'd be like, I would hope to get something sorted with Rangers. Um, obviously it's up to the club and, and if they can speak to my representatives, it'd be great, yeah. Do you feel that the impact you've made since coming into the first team You've shown that you can be a part of this team going forward long term. Yeah, I think that, I mean, the last two games I thought I played pretty well. Um, I'm getting building more confidence. I feel more relaxed on the pitch. Um, and obviously the gaffers came in and he's, 
and with the winter break, he's he's kind of put his stamp on how we want to play. So it's a bit more clear how we want to play, especially when we're building out for the back. So everyone's kind of on the same page now. So it's not either well one person doing one thing and someone's doing another. Everyone's on the same page now, so it's a lot easier. Is there an offer on the table from Rangers? Or? Um, I've, I've not heard nothing, so I I'm just going to speak, keep speaking to my representative, and obviously he'll do the stuff off the pitch. Um, and Andrew keep doing it on it.